الرحمن الرحیم Dear student and all viewers, welcome to my channel English Literature and Linguistic A site for literature lovers This is the part 3 of a series of videos all about poetry In the far final of this series, I have discussed the type of foot meter and stanza and in the part 2 I have discussed all types and forms of poetry. In this video I am going to discuss two other important terms of poetry. In this video I am going to discuss two other important terms of poetry namely inversion and imagery. So let's discuss them. Number one, inversion. What is inversion in poetry? Inversion, which is also called anastropy, in poetry is the syntactic reversal of the normal form or order of the words and praises in a sentence. Number one, placing of an adjective or modifier after the noun it modifies. Example is the soldier's straw. Ah, placing a verb before its subject. The example is spoke the captain of the ship. Number three, a noun preceding its preposition. Example is was between or the lady I speak to. Some example of inversion from poetry are Some example of inversion from poetry are Number one These first two lines from Kabla Khan by Coleridge In Zenero did Kabla Khan a stately pleasure dome decree Number two the lines from the poem Mermaid by Anonymous Then spoke the captain of our gallant ship And a well spoken man was he I have married a wife in Salem town And tonight she a widow will be Number 3 The lines from Paradise Lost by John Milton So shall the world go on under her own wet groaning own wet groaning Next we are going to discuss imagery and poetry What is imagery? According to Robert Frost, saying one thing and meaning another, that is imagery. The general definition of imagery is the use of words, phrases, figurative language in poetry that appeal to the reader's senses such as sight, smell, touch, taste and hearing. In general, Imagery is the use of figurative language to represent objects, actions, feelings, thoughts, ideas, state of mind, whether sensory or extrasensory experiences. So, let, so let's discuss the types of imagery. There are three types of imagery according to the objects presented in a literary work. Number one, literal imagery. Number two, perceptual imagery. Number three, conceptual imagery. Let's discuss them one by one. Literal imagery. 
in this type of imagery things or objects are presented exactly as they are without any hidden or symbolic meaning example consider these line from the poem of the apple picking by robert frost i feel the ladder sway as the box bend and i keep hearing from the cellar bend the rumbling song of load on load of apples coming in in this line the word ladder or apple have the same meaning as they have in the dictionary there is no symbolic representation of these words number 2 perceptual imagery in this type of imagery things are ex- expressed through a specific device or figurative language like a metaphor simile or any other symbol the example is these line from kubla khan of college the shadow of the doom of pleasure floated mid way on the wave where we heard the mangal maisher from the fountain and the caves in this line the doom represent the whole palace which kubla khan have built in zinar the doom have no literal meaning but symbolic meaning number 3 conceptual meaning what is conceptual imagery in this type of imagery we cannot visualize the object presented in the poetic work but we can have an idea of it consider this group of work the castle of god or these line from paradise lost by john milton say first or heavens hide nothing from the view nor the deep track of hell say first what cause mood or grandparents in that happy state favored of heaven so highly to fall off in these lines heaven hell happy state or ideal places we can have an idea of it but we can never have a clear picture of what a hell is or a heaven is the happy state also in these lines heaven hell happy state or ideal places we can have an idea of it but we can never have a clear picture of what a hell is or a heaven is the happy state also present the heaven sorry are unable to visualize them dear student now we are going to discuss other types of imagery according to the human senses there are eight types of imagery like visual imagery auditory imagery olfactory imagery gustatory imagery 
टेक्टाइल इमेजरी केनेस्टेटिक इमेजरी ऑर्गेनिक इमेजरी सेनेस्थीजिया और सेनेस्टेटिक इमेजरी सो लेट्स डिस्कस देम वन बाय वन विजुअल इमेजरी व्हाट इज विजुअल इमेजरी this type of imagery appeals to the senses of sight consider these line from defendants by william wordsworth i wander lonely as a cloud that floats on high over wells and hills when all at once i saw a crowd a host of golden daffodils beside the lake beneath the trees fluttering and dancing in the breeze in these line cloud wells hills golden daffodils lake trees present a type of visual imagery next is auditory imagery or the sense of hearing this type of imagery describes specific sound and this imagery appeals to the sense of hearing the example is these line from out to atom by john keats then in a wonderful choir the small nets mourn among the rivers shallows born aloft are sinking as the light a wind sinking as the light wind leaves or dies and full grown lambs loud bleat from hilly born hedge cricket sing and now with treble soft the red bells whistle from a garden crop and gathering swallows twitter in the skies in these line bellful choir mourn or cricket sings present auditory imagery and gathering swallows twitter in the skies in these line bellful choir mourn or cricket sings present auditory imagery then now we going to discuss uh, our factory imagery which is the third type of imagery according to the senses what is our factory imagery it describes a particular scent odor or smell a good example is these lines from a poem ran in summer by henry wordsworth longfellow there silently in hell the clover scented gale and the vapors that arise from the well water and smoking soil the clover scented gale present an all factory imagery in this line gale present an all factory imagery in this line. number 4 gustatory imagery it appeals to the sense of taste the example is or to a nightingale by john keats consider these few lines or oh, for a draught of vintage that had been cooled a long age in the deep dell art 
testing of flora and the country green dance and provincial song and sunburn merit all oh, for a beaker full of the swan salt full of the true the blushful hypocrite with beaded bubbles winking at the brain and purple stand mouth this is a good example of gustatory imagery the fifth type is tactile imagery this imagery appeal to the sense of touch number 5 tactile imagery or the sense of touch this type of imagery appeals to the sense of touch consider these lines from the poem winter time by robert louis stevenson close by the jolly fire i sit to warm my frozen bones a bit or with a reindeer sled explore the colder countries round the door warm frozen bones colder these words present the tactile imagery in these lines number 6 is kinesthetic imagery this imagery deals with the movement or action of objects or people consider these lines from the photos by william ward continues as the star that shine and twinkle on the milky way the stretched in never ending line along the margin of a bay 10000 saw i at a glance tossing their heads in sprightly dance in this line shine twinkle tossing sprightly dance are good example of kinesthetic imagery shine twinkle tossing sprightly dance are good example of kinesthetic imagery Number seven is organic imagery. What is organic imagery? This type of imagery creates a specific feeling or evokes emotion within the reader by using phrases that make the reader feel sad, fearful, nostalgic, elated, or even lost. Consider. these lines from the depodels by william ward continues at the star there shine and twinkle on the milky way they stretch in ever ending line along the margin of a bay 10000 saw i at a glance tossing their head and sprightly dance Sprightly dance means joyfully dancing. The feeling of joy has been created through this imagery in the last line of this uh, stanza. Next is the syn synesthesia or synesthetic imagery. What is synesthesia or synesthetic imagery? it is the type of imagery which is used in literature when one says is used to describe another generally using simile or metaphor 
consider this line from hyperion to absorb kids hyperion living twilight in the rear came slope upon the threshold of the west then as was worn his palace door flew up in smoothest silence say what fallen tubes blown by the serious zephyrs gave off sweet and wandering sound slow breathe melodies and like a rose in vermilion tent and shape in fragrance soft and coolness to the eye that inlet to severe magnificence took full blown for the god to enter in in these lines smoothest silence smoothest or smooth is the tactile imagery while silence is the auditory imagery but the tactile imagery has been used as an adjective for the auditory imagery smoothest silence one sense has been used as modifier for the other sense fragrance soft fragrance is the type of old factory imagery where is soft is the tactile imagery so the two senses have been combined to present synesthetic imagery there are numerous example of such imagery and poetry dear student now i am going to put here some lines from a poem Lazarus and the Sea by Peter Redgrove in which you can find all the above discussed imagery by reading it you can analyze and identify the imagery very easily so it is just as a homework for you if you have any query about this you can ask in the comment box i will happily respond to every comment so dear student hope you have learned from this video and enjoyed it as well thank you for watching bye till the next video thank you so much and identify the imagery very easily so it is just as a homework for you if you have any query about this you can ask in the comment box i will happily respond to every comment so dear student hope you have learned from this video and enjoyed it as well thank you for watching bye till the next video thank you so much